Well, this is the first time that anyone outside of the States has been on board the 787 Dreamliner. This is a look at what the cabin might look like. It's not fully kitted out as an airline would have it. For example, there's a lot of test equipment at the back of the plane. There are wires you can see everywhere dotted around as they continue their program of testing. But what is it going to be like if you're on board this plane, if you're going to be flying with it? Well, there are a number of features that Boeing are quite keen to point out. For example, the overhead luggage compartments are bigger, they say, than they would be normally. There's more headroom. Uh, it should feel nicer when you're sitting in the plane as well due to better filtration in the air. You've got bigger windows. may not look that much bigger, but they are bigger than they would be normally. And if we look at this button at the voice of the window here, I can press that and it will slowly start to darken if you want to shut out the light from outside. There's also LED mood lighting, which airlines can have if they wish. It's up to the airline, of course, which will simulate sunrise, sunset if they want to. The pressure in the cabin is at a higher pressure than it would be in a normal aeroplane. And what Boeing say is that that means you'll arrive a bit more refreshed than perhaps you would otherwise be uh, after a long journey. It's got more oxygen in the atmosphere, so that's better for you, obviously. And the reason they can have this higher pressure in the cabin and the reason that they can have these bigger windows and you can see that now it's tinted down pretty much all the way now uh, the reason that they can have these bigger windows and this higher cabin pressure is because of this it's because of what the plane is made by the fuselage is made of plastic essentially it's plastic reinforced with carbon fiber it's the first time that a commercial airplane has been made in this way using this composite material and that Although it's given Boeing a lot of problems in the production, it's caused a lot of delays and it's made for very interesting and difficult times in the production process. A lot of uh, problems have had to be solved. It does allow these unique uh, features, the bigger windows, the higher cabin pressure. And Boeing feel that this is going to be the way that commercial aeroplanes are developed in the future. More and more planes will de be developed with this composite material. It's lighter, planes can fly further, uh, they use less fuel, and so it'll give customers more... Uh, choice of where they can fly to and from and Boeing of course hope that a lot of people will be flying on these planes from the end of this year early next year.